Welcome to Standards Aligned Lesson Planning Made Easy. Today, I am excited to show you how to use the curriculum alignment tool to easily find supplemental classroom instruction and engaging learning activities in the Seesaw Library aligned to the standards and curriculum you're using in your classroom. As we are waiting for everyone to join, we would love to have you introduce yourself in the chat, share where you're from, your role, and your grade level. The chat is on the right-hand side of your screen, and if you don't see it, look in the bottom right corner for the chat icon and just tap it to open it up. A few housekeeping items before we dive in. If you have questions during the session that you would like Mia to answer, please click on the Q&A tab and ask them there. This ensures that we will not miss them. If any questions go unanswered, we will reach out to you to answer them after this webinar. Other comments or ideas can be put in the chat tab so all participants can view them. Ensure that your chat and Q&A tabs are open. If they're not, click on the chat icon in the lower right corner. You will then have the option to click between the chat Q&A and handout tabs. The handouts tab includes key takeaways for today's session. This session is being recorded. A link to the recording as well as the handout from this webinar will be shared in a follow-up email 24 to 48 hours after the session is complete. My name is Melody Barnes, and I am the family coordinator here at Seesaw, and I will be your host for today. First, I would love to introduce you to our presenter for today, Mia. Mia Leonard is an instructional partner here at Seesaw Learning. Before coming to Seesaw, Mia taught kindergarten in the Chicago Public Schools for 10 years where she explored innovative ways to transform teaching and learning with technology. Mia is the author of Building Blocks for Tiny Techies, a teacher's guide to digital learning in primary classrooms. Mia speaks regularly on how to empower our littlest learners with technology at events across the country. Welcome, Mia. Thank you so much, Melody. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me today. Ah, thank you for that glowing introduction. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So sometimes I know we've all experienced this. Sometimes when we get ready to head into a new week and um, the end of that weekend approaches, those Sunday scaries can take over us. Ugh. I want you to take a look at the emojis on your screen. In the chat, I want you to enter the number of the emoji um, that your Sunday self most relates to and add one word that describes that feeling. So take a look at the emojis and in the chat, enter the letter of the um, emoji that best uh, describes or that your Sunday self can best relate to and add one word describing that feeling. All right, I see um, some mixed emotions coming into the chat. I see some of you um, are nervous or anxious on those Sundays. I see some of you are feeling some of you feel somewhat prepared, but maybe not completely 100% going into that new week. And oh, I see a few of you that have all your stuff together and you feel ready. Amazing. Um, for those of you who sometimes feel the Sunday scaries, we want to help you get rid of them for good. One way we can begin uh, to really own those emotions is by being prepared for the week as it relates to our classroom planning. Um, as we know, planning, um, engaging in meaningful lessons and activities for our classroom can really be time consuming. And uh, let's be honest, it can be frustrating sometimes. But we here at Seesaw have the resources that you need to make that process easier thanks to our robust library and all of our built-in supports. 
So our objective for today's session is to familiarize you with uh, the Seesaw Library and all of the powerful tools to take those Sunday scaries away. And here are our learning outcomes. I like to call this our roadmap, how exactly uh, we're going to uh, do this. So during today's webinar, we are going to focus on three outcomes that will allow you to take what you've learned and implement it in, in your classrooms really quickly and easily. So first, we're going to focus on utilizing that standards and curriculum alignment tool to locate lessons from the Seesaw Library that you can take and use right away with your students. Next, we'll explore uh, various ways to integrate those lessons into your different instructional routines. So for example, how you might use those lessons during whole group instruction, for centers or workstations, and or um, potentially in independent learning. And then finally, we will wrap up by learning how to locate um, and implement the built-in lesson plans within our Seesaw Ready to Teach lessons. Let's go ahead and jump in. Finding exactly the right content that you're looking for can take a lot of time, but Seesaw is here to help and lift that burden. So let's start by exploring our standards and curriculum alignment tool in Seesaw. We understand um, we are, our Seesaw um, consists of a lot of former teachers as myself am. So we really understand how valuable time is for you. As a teacher, it's one of the most precious and greatest resources uh, that you have, your time. As teachers, we want our lessons to be thoughtful for our students. We want them to be engaging, meaningful, relevant. But we know that putting together lessons that meet all of this criteria is not only challenging, but it really takes thoughtful and careful planning um, and um, a lot of mindfulness in order uh, to get our lessons just right. It takes time, but we have great news for you. The Seesaw Library has features and resources that will not only help you identify the best lessons to support your instructional goals, but that will also save you time in the process. Our Seesaw Library is full of thousands of ready-to-teach standards-aligned activities. Uh, these lessons do a great job of combining both hands-on and digital activities that are accessible and engaging for all of our students and can be easily adapted in any instructional setting. But sometimes, even when we have amazing resources to implement, we know it can be overwhelming when trying to decide where to start or to identify what lessons or activities align with your district standards or curriculum. But that's why we are here. We have great news for you. We have taken the guesswork out of the equation for you. So using our standards and curriculum alignment tool, you can easily find lessons that are aligned to your state standards and your curriculum. So I am going to actually jump into Seesaw and I'm gonna show you how it all works. So here I am in my Seesaw journal. All right, so from my journal tab, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that library button. And that is going to take me straight into uh, the Seesaw library here. So um, I can see right here on the very left, I have the option to browse by standards and curriculum. So this is actually going to allow me to do a more targeted search and find content that aligns directly to the content that I'm teaching in the classroom. And this just makes it a lot easier as opposed to going through the library, tapping into the various content areas that are organized in the library and searching manually. So I am going to go ahead and click on Browse by Standards and Curriculum. And that is actually going to open up a separate tab for me. Um, and this is where our standards and curriculum, uh, our standards and curriculum feature, search feature is housed. So I'm actually gonna scroll down just a bit. 
right down to the bottom. And you can see here is that standards and curriculum alignment tool. And here I have the option to either search by standard or search by curriculum. So first, I'm going to show you how to search by standard. So next to standards, I'm going to just hit that little drop down arrow and I am going to select my state. Let's go ahead and select California. And then next, I am going to select my subject. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll to language arts. And then finally, I am going to select the grade that I am searching for. Let's go ahead and search K. And then I'm going to tap that search bar. So this is loading, but once um, that alignment loads, it is going to open up a curriculum alignment. There it is, um, where I can see all of the Seesaw lessons that are aligned to the language arts uh, kindergarten standards for the state of California. So if I can see here, I can see here is the grade level at the top. I can see on the blue bar that anchor standard. And then below that, I can see the specific standard. So for key ideas and details, I can see the two different standards uh, that are covered here. If I tap on correlations, that blue button on the right, that is going to show me all of the Seesaw lessons that align to that specific standard. So I can go through this list and I can find a lesson that I may potentially want to teach. So I'm gonna go down here to the lesson titled Power Blocks ELA. How can I describe characters and setting in a story? And I am going to go ahead and click. And that is going to open up that lesson right inside of Seesaw. So from here, I can go through that lesson to see if this lesson meets uh, the needs of my students and I can explore it further. Now, I wanna show you how to search by um, actual curriculum. So I showed you how to search by standard. Now let's see how to search by curriculum. So here I am again in the Seesaw Library. I'm going to tap browse by standards and curriculum just to give you a refresher of how we got here. And that is going to open up that a curriculum alignment tool in a separate window like you see here. And from here, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to where it says search by standard and curriculum. And I showed you before how to search by standard. This time, I'm gonna show you how to search by curriculum. So I'm gonna tap on the tab that says curriculum. And then I'm going to refine my search. So first, next to curriculum, I'm going to hit that drop down arrow. And I am going to find the curriculum that I teach. So I teach um, using the benchmark curriculum. So I'm going to tap on benchmark advanced. And then I need to select my standard set. So next to standards, I'm going to hit that drop down arrow. And again, I'm gonna find my state. This time, let's go ahead and choose the state of Iowa. When selecting um, aligned uh, grade levels, I can actually select more than one. So before, when I searched by standards, you saw me only click on kindergarten. This time, let's go ahead and um, click on multiple grade levels. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key on my computer and I'm gonna select grades three, four, and I'm going to select grade five and I'm going to tap search. And here we go. So here's that alignment. So as you can see, it looks very similar to um, the standards alignment. You can see the name of the curricula at the top. So there's benchmark exam, uh, uh, advance, excuse me. You can see the grade level underneath that. Um, we selected third, fourth, and fifth grade. If I scroll down a little bit further, I'll see the fourth and the fifth grade alignments. But let's just take a look at third grade. I can see that this is broken down by unit here. So there's unit one. If I continue to scroll, I can see unit two. And as I mentioned before, um, after the unit, then you'll see those specific standards that are covered. And if I tap on the blue correlations button, at the right, when I tap on that, that is going to show me all of the seesaw lessons that align directly to that benchmark unit and that specific standard.
All right. So now that you know how to find the perfect supplemental lesson for your students, um, let's take the time to put those lessons into practice. So next we're gonna discuss ways that you can integrate these lessons into your different instructional routines. Our Seesaw Library provides teachers with high quality content that is not only evidence-based and aligned to uh, district standards and adapted curricula, but that are also fully ready to teach, saving you valuable planning time. With a Seesaw lesson, teachers know that they are making the most out of their valuable instructional time. The library is full of thousands of these ready to teach standards aligned activities. And the lessons combine both hands-on and digital activities that are accessible and engaging for all of our learners, regardless of their ability or experience, and can be easily adapted to all instructional settings. So as a teacher, you can supplement your instruction with our ready to assign lessons um, that really support learning objectives um, into your already established routines, such as your whole group instruction, your small group instruction uh, centers and workstations and independent learning. Let's go ahead and jump in and learn more. So these lessons allow teachers to bring high quality whole class instruction to life using our multimodal tools while at the same time engaging students with interactive activities and modeling. So whether it's your morning meeting time or maybe you're doing a daily warm up or maybe you're doing calendar, you can use present to class to model uh, those various instructional routines uh, like whole class instruction. Um, you can simply uh, project Seesaw on your projector, your connected projector, or display it on your interactive whiteboard. Um, and you can use uh, Seesaw lessons to model key vocabulary, to model solving a problem, perhaps emphasize text features, or any other skill that you are um, teaching your whole class about. Like this instructional video from our PowerBlocks ELA collection in the Seesaw Library to kick off learning. So all you have to do, as I mentioned, is to project the video um, in Seesaw and uh, tap on your overhead or on your interactive board um, in Seesaw, tap on the present to class on that specific activity within the lesson, and you watch it with your students. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few minutes of this lesson. And welcome to another exciting day in Turtle's Lair. We just finished reading an incredible book. You don't want to miss it. Oh, hey, Turtle. What's going on? Oh, hey. I'm about to describe the major events from my latest book. And I thought I would get ready in my best sportscaster impersonation. Sportscaster? Uh -huh. Like the person who talks about games when you watch them? Uh, yeah. So showing students whole class a video like this is a great way to provide that instructional content to your students. And as a great fun way to engage students in learning. They love Rainbow Bear and Turtle. Um, just a note, make sure to assign the instructional video to your students, although you're completing it for whole class, if you want them to be able to reference it while um, working on the rest of the lesson independently. All right. So next, after you play that video whole class, then you can engage your whole class in discussion. Um, most of the videos in our Seesaw lessons are followed by some sort of reflection or some discussion questions like you see here. So again, all you have to do is use that present to class feature to project the discussion questions following the video, and then you can engage your students in these questions. You can continue to do everything you would normally do when you engage your students in discussion, like have them turn and talk, or think, peer, share, um, but you will have the questions already planned out for you, saving you time, um, and um, you have everything that you need right there in that Seesaw lesson. 
Next, teachers can use Present to Class to bring interactive um, books to life, such as our fiction books collection in the Seesaw Library. So teachers can ask students to identify those high frequency words that they find in the book, identify letters, maybe character traits for younger students, maybe emphasize those concepts of print um, using the multimodal tools like the drawing tools, the highlighter tools, the arrow to focus on all those different um, skills and concepts. All right, let's talk about how exactly we use Present to Class. So to use Present to Class, you're just going to tap on the Present to Class button on any activity in Seesaw to project the lesson and engage with the instructional content as a whole class. Through Seesaw, students can engage in those hands-on and digital learning practices that really guide students and give teachers uh, additional learning insights. So next, let's talk about how you can use Seesaw in your centers and in your workstations. Using that green add button is a really easy way to document hands-on learning in centers or stations uh, like this expanded form station example. So here, students are practicing place value um, with materials from around the classroom. And what they're doing is they're matching the expanded form to the whole number, and then they capture their completed practice using the photo tool in Seesaw. So to extend this learning, you can also have students tap on the microphone and explain uh, their thinking. But using Seesaw in a center or a station is great because something like this often gets lost at the end of that center time or that station time when students are rushing to clean up. Here, you're able um, as the teacher to get a glimpse into what students are doing when they're working independently. And it also gives them a, an accountability piece as well. Students can document and explain their hands-on learning using all of the multimodal tools in Seesaw. So let's take a look at a couple of other examples. So on the left, students were working on creating patterns. So what the students did is that they tapped the green add button in their Seesaw journal, and they used the photo tool to take a photo of the pattern that they created. Then they used a microphone to tell more about their pattern. And in the example that you see on the right, students were learning all about insects and they were building their own insects out of Play-Doh. Um, they took a picture of their insect that they created uh, using the photo tool in Seesaw and then used the label tool to label the parts of their insects. If you like, you can also have students layer uh, on reflection using the microphone. But we know that students learn best when they're creating, when they're manipulating, when they're building. Uh, Seesaw allows students to still um, engage in those hands-on learning activities. They can still create, they can still work with manipulatives, they still build, all while documenting um, and explaining their learning using the multimodal tools. You as a teacher can go back and view each student's learning once they submit their work. Um, and it really gives them the feeling that they, uh, gives you as the teacher the feeling that, you know, you're really supporting um, all of your students' individual needs at the same time. You can also have students partner up during center and station time to practice on specific skills. Our math skills games collection includes a variety of really fun and engaging games to support students um, in kindergarten through fifth grade. So teachers can assign a math skills game like the This Factors Dice game for fourth and fifth grade students that you see here to play with a partner. So when you assign this a math skills game, it includes a video that students can watch um, and then they can play the game at their, at their their center or their station. But the powerful thing about this is that students can watch or rewatch that video as many times as they need. And they don't need to raise their hand and interrupt you uh, with questions when they're playing their game on their own, allowing you to either work with students one on one or pull small groups. After learning how to play the game, students then play with their partner at their station. 
And then the second page of the activity includes a reminder of how to play the game and then a space for students to use the video tool to record one of their games. Um, and this actually uh, holds students accountable to their learning and at the same time provides you a glimpse into um, student learning while they're working in their centers or their stations. To support learn skills during centers and stations, you as a teacher can also assign the connect activity from the Seesaw lesson. So in this Tumble Science Connect activity, students get to debate, um, Dandings pretending to be a scientist um, that they just learned about. So I'm just gonna play a little bit of the video. Hello, my name is Shapley, and I believe that the, uni the Milky Way is 300,000 light years across. That can't possibly be right. I, I believe that the Milky Way is only 30,000 light years away. So this is a fun way for students to summarize what they learned. Here we go. So with our instructional uh, templates collection, students are able to practice, apply, and really demonstrate their learning on a particular topic. You can customize these templates to target specific skills, allowing uh, for easy differentiation based on what it is that your individual students need. So teachers can again use that present the class feature um, in small group to model how exactly to complete the template. And then they can assign um, this template to their skill group. Students will complete the template using Seesaw's multimodal tools to explain their thinking. Lastly, let's explore how teachers use Seesaw to meet students where they are using multidimensional activities for independent learning. So once you've modeled a skill whole group, you can easily meet the needs of all of the students in your class by assigning an activity to students, um, to groups of students or individual students. So it's really, uh, Seesaw makes it really easy to differentiate when you are assigning a specific lesson um, using the edit students and group option. So when I click on assign and I tap edit students and groups, I will be taken to a list of all of the students in my class. I can choose to assign this activity to everyone in my class, or I can choose to assign it to just certain groups of students or individual students um, in order to support those students' specific needs. So if you are unfamiliar with how to set up groups, there is a link in the handouts tab um, to a Help Center article that will show you exactly how to create them. We know that as teachers, we know that learning is more engaged and effective um, when it's experienced in different ways. Seesaw lessons provide the flexibility for students to practice grade level foundational skills with purposeful practice independently. So here is an example from our third through fifth grade Story Pirate Story Sparks collection. And here students uh, will use the creative story sparks to engage in writing activities. So what students do here is they listen, they brainstorm, they revise, and they publish their final writing uh, activities through a blend of both hands-on and digital learning. In this collection, um, it includes instructional content to support students independently on the skills that they will need to complete the lesson. Um, best practice is to assign this lesson to students after completing it whole class so that they can refer back to it while completing the practice activities independently. Students get repeated opportunities to engage in purposeful practice of skills when they are engaging in a Seesaw lesson. Scaffolds are built into each lesson to support students when they're working on their own. Each page within our Seesaw lessons contain audio directions in both English and Spanish to really ensure um, that students know exactly what it is that they're supposed to do. Everything students need to know to be successful when working independently is included in the activity. 
You can quickly, as the teacher, gauge your student's understanding by adding a formative assessment. Here, students are able to self-check their work in practice mode while they're practicing sorting words by parts of speech. So you can see students will find words, they'll sort them by parts of speech by dragging and dropping into the appropriate box. So you can see verbs, plural nouns, um, singular nouns, adjectives, and their responses will be auto graded, saving you as the teacher a lot of time. And while students are exploring and learning on their own, uh, they can also use any of those Seesaw tools to support their understanding during independent learning time. So again, this gives you as the teacher those deeper insights into what your students actually can do when they're working independently. And it also is a great way to showcase student growth. As an extra layer of support, each Seesaw lesson contains a built-in lesson plan uh, so that you can easily integrate your chosen lesson into your classroom while cutting out all of that extra prep time. We've done the work for you. So um, as you saw, the library offers thousands of ready-to-teach standards aligned activities, um, but our support doesn't stop there. So now you can bring instruction to life through engaging multidimensional learning experiences that really encourage student voice and choice while saving time by taking advantage of our built-in lesson plans. So I'm actually going to jump back into that lesson that I found via the standards and curriculum alignment tool, this lesson right here. There we go. This lesson, again, is titled, How Can I Describe Characters and Settings in the Story? So you'll notice that at the very top of the lesson, there is a link that says Jump to Lesson Plan. So if I tap on that link, that is just going to pop me to the very bottom of that lesson where the lesson plan is. I can also, from the top of the lesson, just simply scroll down to the bottom. So here I am at the lesson plan. So this lesson a plan contains everything that you as a teacher needs to implement the lesson. So you'll notice the lesson plan contains um, an objective statement, it contains an I will statement in kid-friendly language for you to put up on your marker board. Uh, the standard or standards that are addressed in this lesson will be listed here as well. If you do need any materials um, to help uh, in completing that lesson, it will be listed here. So for this particular lesson, you'll see the materials that you need are paper, pencils, and art supplies. Um, and our team here at Seesaw really wants to make sure that you are able to implement these uh, lessons without a lot of lift. So you'll notice that a lot of the materials that you will need will be things that you can find um, in your classroom every day. And then next, you'll find any supporting resources. So in, in our Seesaw Library, we do have Spanish versions of a lot of our content. If there is a Spanish equivalent, you'll notice that it will be linked here in a, the lesson plan. So this lesson plan does contain a Spanish version, which you can asset, access by just clicking on View Lessons. If I continue to scroll down, I'll see the recommended instructional formats. So the great thing about our Seesaw lessons is that they are flexible and can be used across a number of instructional routines. So this specific lesson can be used for whole group, small group, independent practice, um, and or for partners. And then if I continue to scroll through the lesson plan, I will notice that there are some teacher tips for you when you're implementing the lesson and then you'll find a detailed breakdown of exactly how you will teach the lesson with approximate times that it'll take you for each portion. So allowing you to really kind of plan ahead and think about um, the components of the lesson that you want to teach and how you can break this down.
All right, everyone, you did it. You learned how to use the standards and curriculum alignment tool to locate lessons. Then you learned how to integrate those lessons into your various instructional routines, whole group, uh, centers and workstations, independent practice. And then finally, you learned how to access and utilize Seesaw's built-in lesson plans to save you time. Now I'm going to turn it back over to Melody to wrap us up today. My goodness, isn't that amazing? I think I had to wipe my brow from <laughs> all of the things that I heard. You know, teachers are going to be able to save so much time with all of these wonderful tools, and I am so excited to hear about it. So this concludes the presenter portion of our webinar. We have some resources to help you learn even more about Seesaw. Head to our trainer training site, our teacher training site to find quick start PDF guides, short training videos, view recorded webinars, and more. Our goal is to provide you with easy ways to learn, not anything that will bog you down or confuse you. Teacher's time is very valuable to us. In the handouts tab, you will find a link to this site. Want to keep the learning going after Connect? Seesaw offers a variety of free webinars every month that are fit for all educators. Join us at live.seesaw.me to learn more ways you can integrate Seesaw into your classroom. Thank you again for joining us today. We hope to see you again soon here at Seesaw. Thank you, everybody.